Well, joining us now, the former U.S. ambassador to Saudi Arabia and the author of Desert Diplomat, Robert Jordan, Ambassador. Thank you for being on the show to provide your expertise. Good to be with you. Uh, really Thank appreciate you. it. So, uh, Ambassador, it sounds, based on Trey's report, that these protests were not quite as violent as uh, many people feared that they would be. But these two sides were, you know, firing off rockets at one another just a few days ago. So what does this say to you about where these ceasefire negotiations stand today? Well, as, uh, as Richard Haas of the Council on Foreign Relations uh, has, has said some, several times, uh, things can get worse before they get worse. Uh, <laughs> and so uh, I, I think it's hard to uh, be too optimistic uh, by the relative lack of violence uh, that we've seen today. Hamas clearly has an interest in looking responsible right now. Uh, they have failed to control the violence in the past. And so the hundreds of marshals they had for these demonstrations today is actually a good sign uh, but it, there's a big question as to whether that will hold. Uh, in terms of where Hamas is at, uh, Ambassador, you think about just uh, in the past week or two, there have been mass protests against Hamas inside uh, the Gaza Strip. They were put down by repressive violence by Hamas thugs. Uh, the idea of any kind of free speech or free expression in the Gaza Strip does not exist. How tenuous do you think their hold on power is, and is there an opportunity for the United States, the Israelis, or the Egyptians, for that matter, uh, to try and do something uh, to change Hamas's direction here and pull them out of Iranian and Turkish influence? I think there is a big opportunity here, and the Egyptians uh, have the ability to lead the way on this. They have done a good job of uh, keeping uh, these demonstrations uh, under control, uh, making it clear to Hamas that their own credibility is at stake here. Part of the problem, though, is uh, Hamas has done a terrible job of governing Gaza. Uh, they are divided. Uh, Fatah, the, the party in control uh, under Mahmoud Abbas, uh, does not get along with Hamas. And so all Palestinian leadership is, is uh, divided right now. They can't even agree on uh, what side of the street to walk on. So it's a very great challenge for us, for the Egyptians and others who are trying to mediate all of this, uh, to bring even uh, the Palestinian side together. The Israeli elections are just a few days away, April 9th. Yeah. Help us understand the tightrope that Prime Minister, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is uh, trying to walk right now as he heads yeah. into these elections and, and tries to win re-election. Yeah, they have a parliamentary system, which means just like in Great Britain, it's the party uh, who wins the majority who can then elect the prime minister. But in the case of Israel, they have so many splinter parties that it's very difficult for one party to capture a majority. So they operate by coalitions. And Netanyahu has uh, been uh, grasping at other parties' uh, support, uh, trying to gain uh, a majority so that he can actually form a government. Uh, this is a big question this time as to whether his party and their coalition partners will gain enough votes uh, for him to remain as prime minister. So there's a lot teetering on the edge right now. Uh, one, of, one of the smartest observers of Israeli politics I've known in a while said uh, the last thing in the world Bibi wants right now uh, is a war with Hamas, perhaps why we've seen right. this uh, restraint. Ambassador Jordan, appreciate your time, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.